Some of the things that we learned were AI really has a hard time determining small talk. And when agents are trying to build that bond and that connection, it's really like it doesn't get it. It just sees it as filler words and buffering and stalling, but it doesn't understand that's a huge value. You may only talk to that customer once or twice a year. Don't you want to exchange one or two quick pleasantries? You don't want to drag it on and hear about their entire family tree. But to exchange a pleasantry or even know how to exchange a pleasantry, that's a gap. Some of the use cases we really wanted to do were auto QA, right? I want to free up my team to actually look at those interactions that could make a huge difference in our business. For example, like if we had a new product coming out, I want them to focus on that. Let's put everything else through AI. Let's assume it's going to do its job and give us a pretty good sampling of good, bad, and ugly. And where do we need to focus? So that would be a great use case. We were able to get some stuff there. One of the other really great use cases that we were super fixated on because we were under the gun to get this done was to generate a summary at the end of the interaction without the agent having to sit there and go, customer said this, I did this, customer said this, and the case is resolved or the case wasn't resolved. You're probably eliminating a minute, two minutes off of your after call work. So that helps the agent. Because then they can beef up their volume if they so choose, not all of them choose. But it also gives me a mountain of data. And you can just literally feed this back through the machine over and over, looking for those little needles in the haystack that would be impossible for three or four person QA analyst team to find. They're going to do 3% of all of the interactions per month because that's the max that they can do. And that's it. So what happens to the other 97% of the interactions? If you could use, let's just call it AI or the machine, whatever you want to call it, to skim the surface and pop out those really troublesome interactions to not only train to correct and support the agents and provide that really deep coaching and understanding. Because listen, I know it's not easy to deal with customers who are screaming and yelling at you. But then conversely, if you look at yourself and say that article sucks, no wonder why all of my customers are contacting me for this. The, the article is just generic. It doesn't tell the customer what they actually need to know. And it forces them to contact us. Those are the two biggest, I would say, biggest immediate use cases. But there's a ton of others that I'm so interested in. I can't wait to see what happens with IVRs. Huge opportunity. Imagine if the customer speaks one word, refund. And then the IVR automatically knows, ships it over to the super trained up team who knows every single thing about refunds to handle that customer versus going into the pool of agents. And then you can also take your most difficult and problematic interactions, like for all business, all businesses deal with fraud. No customer is ever going to come out happy at the end of a fraud interaction. So you probably want to make sure that A, those get popped to the top. They don't sit on hold for 20 minutes. They go right to the head of the line and they go to a team who is trained and empowered to resolve those issues versus the customer saying to the first agent, well, this is what the issue is. The agent can't handle it. Okay, I have to escalate you. Hold on. Customer gets transferred again. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I need to check into something. Gets put on hold. Agent has to read through all the notes and try to figure out what's going on with the customer. Wouldn't you like to eliminate that? So personally, I find it very exciting, but I know in the CX space, you have a very mixed bag of people who are really excited like me and other people who are like, oh man, this might take my job. Like if I don't harness this and figure out how to use it for my business, I could just get left behind. And I'm seeing that happening right now in the industry. If you don't know or don't understand how you can use AI or any of the chat GPT or any of the applications to your benefit, it's going to be problematic. Wait six months and you'll be left in the dust. So my advice, start attending those webinars, start listening to the podcast, figure out how you can use it to benefit not only your company, your customers, but also your agents. Covers everything.